work and you know the fans love me and I have a great relationship with everyone it's fun and then what would happen is they would book me and then cancel me right away and not tell me reasons why and then they would get mad that I'm on other channels so as you guys know I'm on totally studios and super mission now I just joined which is great who oh, by the and way can I just you know about super mission right okay Dar sent them a cease and desist. So he, yeah. So he was like, because the videos are very similar, but it's like, dude, you don't own that style of content. Like people can like, that's like me making a comedy and Comedy Central being like, comedy belongs to us. You oh, can't do what? that. So, um, hey. Um, so yeah, so Dar sent uh, Michael, the um, owner of, what is it? Um, what's it called? Something Vision? Super Mission. Super Mission. So he said the owner of Super Mission, which is another production company that does similar style content, except for I hear that the vibe over there is much better. Yeah. Um, they're so nice. <laughs> yeah. So he sent them a cease and desist. Also, and they give you breakfast, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah, exactly. We get food. They, I walk in. <laughs> they go, oh, Sarah, would you like a latte? I go, what? <laughs> Oat milk latte for the vegan. Remember when they wouldn't get me vegan food? Yeah. They would never get, she would never get fed on set at DAR because they would be like, shoot, they, they send you in the email. It's like, please let us know if you have any dietary restrictions for the shoot. So obviously if you're vegan or you, you um, are gluten free or something, you let them know. And then it would always be like, they would always just like forget to, to order her food. So like you'd have like Chipotle and you can have like what? One piece of lettuce. Is that what it yeah. was? And they're like, yeah, and it's like, oh, sorry. Um, which sometimes it happens. There's it, people make mistakes, but like it would happen a lot. So that's kind of yeah. Fun. Like I had to bring my food every single day because I knew I wouldn't get fed, and there were no vegan snacks. <laughs> which is like it's awesome. Not when you work on a production, there's something called craft services, which is what you know the cast and crew can eat. And I mean, this was like a joke. It was literally just Doritos and like. <laughs> That's yeah. not sustainable for an actor. No. Um, I mean, like, we, we're we shooting a movie now, um, and Rob, my boyfriend, and I are producing and directing it. And, like, it's not, you know, like, this is coming out of, like, our own pockets, like, of our own money that, that we don't have. Um, so this is, like, coming out of our own money. And, like, it, how hard is it to just, like have good craft services for people it, especially if you know you can't like you know i wish i could pay people like really really well but i know i'm like eh, you could probably make more money working on another project but if you want to work with me on this one and do me like a homie favor uh -huh. I, i'll still pay you but like i i have to i'll just i'll have really nice food for you you it, know what i mean and like you won't get mad at me <laughs> for existing <laughs> No, I won't get mad at you for existing. That's the funny thing about um, how you were saying about the supermission guy was um, that he, like, so having, like, you know, uh, giving you, like, a latte and having breakfast for you and paying you, like, a decent day rate. Not, like, um, not even that much money. Like, if you break it down hourly, um, it's normal rate for a human. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't have nearly like a quarter of the views that Dar has. So he's not making a quarter of the money that Dar has. The production is not on like the same, I would say, like visual level. Not even close. And and he treats people kindly. Like how hard is that? You know, like, I mean, we've been in this game for a long time. Mare and I are both professional actors on multiple shows and tv and movies and whatnot and like this is just one thing that we also do which is dark man yeah. and you know gr granted it's a massive show and that's where all you guys know us from but no other production i've been on even a student film when i was starting out functions this way no no one no, no one. And, you know the thing is a lot of the actors kind of just go with the flow because it's like okay we are getting followers we are making a difference in a way because the videos are good and helpful for you know people but that's the why we tell ourselves though that's that the why is, we tell ourselves it's I, not and that's the thing that they try to hold over your head is like uh yeah but would you be getting like all these followers and it's like 
I, if I was on, I'm sorry, if I was on Game of Thrones and I had never acted in anything in my entire life and I had never auditioned for anything, and the first role that I ever got was for an HBO, like a, a ma massive HBO show or something like that. Um, yeah, followers is just something that comes with it. It's recognition, yeah. people like your craft, which by the way, they do not give us credit in the videos because they specifically do not want that us to gain followers, which is really cruel. Um, yeah, because then it's like, because they want to keep this like toxic platform of like, no, we're up here and you're down here, like never forget it, you know? So that's kind of, that's the, what the studio is like, but so no other studio horrific. would do that. And you would still get paid properly. Like you would still get paid. Like, you know, if you're on a massive show, it doesn't matter if you're not a massive name. You're, you might not get paid as much as the person who's won an Academy Award or has been around for 30 sure. years, but you're going to get paid a, a, a good wage. And then you have options to negotiate. So if your character is really popular, then the next season you get to renegotiate. So mind you, this is a YouTube studio. So it's not like there's not like seasons, but I mean, I've been around four and a half years. I think it's time for me to negotiate. Like, I don't understand That's what the problem is. Point. I want to talk about that a bit so mayor you've been with darman from when he started the channel right mm -hmm. i you mean maybe like i came a couple months after so like i mean the youtube channel did not exist yet no that's well, so like, on facebook or something facebook so they okay. were like these little short three minute uh uh, videos it was mainly like voiceover you know like it would be okay. like the guy treated his husband or his wife bad so like when she came oh, home you like <laughs> yeah those okay yeah. <laughs> so it was like oh this is like if jay shetty were to like do inspirational videos kind of thing right you know, um yeah. yeah so you've been here for a long time do you feel that there's been a shift in like the culture or it's always been bad to be honest with you um things have gotten bigger so it the what you would have was <clears throat> it's just amplified more so there okay. was always kind of this atmosphere of like dar is kind of this untouchable like celebrity who I've worked with a lot of famous people, like really like actual real famous people. Um, <laughs> and I have never been made to feel so small, you know, around somebody um, like he, you know, he would always be friendly and stuff and like talk, but it always felt very much like I'm up here, you're down here right type of thing or like, oh, OK, you know, like almost like he was like doing us a favor by saying hello. Um, and he wasn't really around very often when we were filming, like back in the day before the studio when we were at the like apartment and stuff. Um, but you know, it was it was small, and it was like it was just kind of like it was it was a small production, so you um, didn't really expect any like bells and whistles and stuff. Sure. Like that. You wouldn't expect to be treated a certain way, but it did feel very much kind of like you're really pathetic that you're working for us for as cheap as you are for uh -huh. these like, little videos. Uh -huh. It did kind of always feel like we were just like these little peons who, you know, uh, and acting is like an art form and that is like a legitimate industry and to not respect it. So to come into our world and create content um, that like, you know, uses us in our industry, in our art form um to 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 treat us like we're like just garbage is kind of like dude you're on you're on our turf dude you're on yeah. our turf this is our world even you know still on a general like human to human level especially regarding what the subject matter of these videos are it's a little ironic that it's like you're treated like garbage by some like 